Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today, we're going to be looking at the definition of other assets as we do in each one of these fundamental analysis tutorial videos. I'll give you the actual definition, and then we'll go on to look at the, a couple of examples and try and give you a little more insight in how it's actually used. Other assets is a balance sheet classification which covers minor assets such as prepaid expenses, scrap value of obsolete equipment, restricted shares, etc., which will not be liquidated within the next 12 months. Now let's go have a look at an example. Once we've moved down through the basic uh, first third of the balance sheet, the asset section coming to nord, uh, near the end, we come to other assets. And this is much like the other uh, current assets, the only difference between these two items would be that obviously if it's current it's going to be items which can be liquidated or expected to be liquidated within the next 12 months and those that are down here and, uh, past the uh, current assets are actually going to be longer term so they're going to be talking about things that are not, not going to be liquidated for any, uh, any time this year to be you know uh, 12 months plus a day or longer if they're actually ever uh, liquidated. They can even be prepaid expenses like we had up here in the other current assets item here, but they would have to be items which are, again, not expected to come into play in this uh, current business cycle in this first 12 months that you're talking about. That's the main difference between these two. And again, whenever you're looking at anything that says the word other, I can't actually come out and tell you what items are going to be there because every company will have different items, every industry would have different items. So you have to actually go dig into the company's uh, 10K and get the notes actually about the uh, balance sheet there and, and look and see what are uh, being listed as other assets and typically it's going to be net meaning that there's there's many things that are in this uh, account and then they're just lumped together they don't fit in the property plant and equipment category or the intangible assets category or the long-term investments and so they get they fall in this area right here uh, again it's not a major issue you, a lot of times you can just simply strike it from the balance sheet it's not a big deal um, and I will give you a word of caution if you see a company that's uh, reporting uh, strong you know assets and they've got a good amount of liabilities but they're showing all these strong assets and they're in the other assets category and I have seen it done uh, just yeah keep moving look for a better company you know a company that's all other assets is kind of ridiculous in my opinion again I'd like to point out that assets on a balance sheet are listed in their order of liquidity with of course the most liquid or the cash being at the very top and then the further down you go the less liquid an item is once you get down to other assets you're talking about something that would be very difficult uh, to actually pull any value from in, in the real world Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit loss or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.